Hi, I'm Alexander Bondarenko, and it is my pleasure to present our work Causal QA, a benchmark for causal question answering. Our work is motivated in the first place by the observation that at least 5% of questions submitted to search engines ask about causality, the amount that cannot be ignored. Uh, this finding is part of our work, uh, which I'll talk about later in my presentation. Our review of related literature in causal question answering showed that existing benchmark datasets are comparably small, so that causal question answering can be hampered by a lack of specialized and large-scale resources. Similar challenges can also be met in uh, web search. If we, for example, take a question, can broccoli cause constipation and type it pink, then the top result would be a direct affirmative answer, yes. If we would take the same question and type it Google, then the top result snippet would disagree with the pink's result. Similarly, if we translate question into Korean and would type it Navier search angel, then the um, Navier's result would confirm the results of Google, which disagrees with the uh, Bing uh, results. To advance causal question answering, in our work, we construct a data set that contains more than 1 million causal questions and answers. We also handcraft a set of rules to identify causal questions at near perfect precision. We conduct an analysis of causal questions and propose a new taxonomy of such questions. And finally, we develop a baseline question answering system and report on the results on, the, on our constructed uh, data sets. Let me start with the dataset construction. To build, our, to build our causal question answering dataset, we first selected 10 existing QA datasets that fulfill uh, three uh, criteria. First of all, we wanted to have datasets that are well known. For example, they are mentioned in um, review papers in the field. Second, we wanted to have a relatively large data set so that all our selected data sets contain uh, more than 100,000 uh, QA pairs. And finally, we wanted the data sets to, be, to have um, lexically diverse question, questions, for example, not just why questions. Then, based on the related literature, we defined, um, we defined the causal question being a question if answering it requires three criteria. First of all, the causal chains should be identified. Secondly, inference, inference on those chains should be performed. And finally, the causal relations that involved in answering should be verbalized. Based on both related literature and a sample of a random sample of uh, questions that we manually labeled, um, we developed uh, seven uh, lexical rules to identify causal questions. We started with a simple one. So, for instance, the first rule says if a question starts with why, then this question is causal. For example, why does mosquito bite each? Second rule would look for, for the word cause or causes in questions. And if it, this word is found, then the co question is causal. For example, what causes broken blood um, uh, vessels? And then up to the seventh more complex rule, what to do if, like for example, what to do if my Xbox won't connect to the Wi-Fi. By applying these seven rules, we were able to identify more than one million 
causal QA pairs in the 10 data sets, QA data sets that we selected to construct our resource. To provide a baseline on our, our constructed data set, um, we used a unified Q8 model proposed by Hashabi et al. Um, this model uh, is able to answer both types, um, extractive and abstract, ex abstractive questions. So in our experiment, we used um, the um, pre-trained model and also fine-tuned model. Here I'm showing just an excerpt of the results um, and the, um, the, the full table with um, all our experiments uh, can be found in the paper and the uh, table is large and um, the main takeaway that um, uh, we need uh, to see here is that um, on average, the effectiveness of the QA system for causal question answering is uh, relatively um, low, with exception for the two data sets, um, the PAC and the squad. And if we compare in the, um, uh, in the state of the art um, results in question answering, then we would see that, for instance, the most effective uh, system uh, on squad um, was able to uh, outperform um, humans um, for the task. Uh, so that at this point we see there is a lot of improvement in causal, uh, in causal question answering. So to gain more insights and to better understand what kind of questions and how often people ask uh, in uh, uh, web search, um, we analyzed more, uh, we analyzed about 1.5 billion question-like uh, queries submitted to Yandex. Um, we uh, um, translated our set of rules into uh, Russian. Uh, uh, evaluated on the uh, random sample drawn from uh, Yandex so that we assure that those rules uh, performed uh, at precision of one and we mm, knew that uh, they were able to recall about 70% uh, of the causal questions in, the, um, in our labeled sample. Uh, by applying those rules to the Yandex to lock, we were able to identify that at least 5% of the questions in the lock were causal questions. We also found that most frequent uh, um, causal questions were why questions. For example, why can't I log in into Contacti? Which, is ca which can be categorized uh, based on our proposed taxonomy as the uh, request for problem solving. Then we also saw that um, the majority of questions that actually ask about causes or effects, so the questions that contain those keywords cause or effect, they target either causes of medical conditions or effects on health. Um, and these kind of questions can be categorized uh, as the problem prevention, prevention questions uh, based on our proposed taxonomy. Another interesting observation that, um, and that the overwhelming majority of the what happens if questions ask about dream interpretation. For example, what will happen if one dreams of pregnancy? And this raises an interesting uh, research question, um, how uh, question answering system or web search could tackle uh, such type of questions which can be seen as some fictional causality. To conclude, in our work we created and we published a data set that contains more than 1 million QA pairs to advance research in uh, causal question answering. We also mm, proposed a set of rules to identify causal questions. Um, 
and we conducted a, uh, an analysis of a search engine log to better understand what kind of causal questions people ask um, on the web. Um, I didn't talk much about the taxonomy of causal questions um, and just show a few examples of the uh, of the taxonomy categories uh, so that I would encourage you to look into the paper for more details and for more information about the proposed taxonomy of causal questions. And we also propose a baseline QA system um, on our constructed data set. So, our results also sh show that causal question answering has a potential for improvement. Like for example, we assume that combination of uh, text matching QA system with causal inferi inf inference um, techniques or in, um, using uh, external knowledge base resource, uh, resources could improve. So the code and data are available at uh, GitHub and we uh, we will be happy if uh, our, we will be happy if our data sets um, will be used to advance uh, causal question answering thank you very much